How's it going, everyone? My name is Chris, and welcome back to the NASCAR 7 Fights, the top mode. And today we're going to be doing Double Dover, Dodge Raceway, and Pocono in today's episode. The last episode we did was the Charlotte Races, which was the All-Star Race, the Bush Lowe's Race, and then the Coca-Cola 600 at Lowe's. Uh, we choked the shit out of the All-Star Race win, but we eventually... Or, the, or not eventually, but we did go on to win uh, the Bush race and the Cup race at Lowe's uh, after the All-Star race. So, trying to, like, soften the blow a little bit. But, um, yeah, so, it uh, sucks that we lost the All-Star race, but we made it up by winning the Coca-Cola 600, which can't really ask for anything better than that, right? But, uh, yeah, so coming out of those two races, check out the standings. So on the cup side of things, we lead Bobby Labonte by 240 points in second. Greg Biffle in third. Bruce Payne in fourth. But Jeff Gordon is close to the gap in fifth. Kurt Busch sixth. Ryan Newman seventh. Alan Hart Jr. eighth. Kevin Harvick in ninth. And Jimmy Johnson in tenth. But barely over Matt Kansas by five. Uh, Matt Kansas is in eleventh. Five points back. Sadler is there. Trix is there. Kyle Busch is there. And Vickers is there. There's still ways to go. Uh, but right now, it looks to be between Johnson, Kenseth, uh, Sadler and Truex. Kyle Busch can also be brought in there, but it also depends on if he can get better as the weeks go on. On the Bush side, we lead Junior by 343 points in P2. Tony Stewart in P3. Truex P4. Kerr Busch P5. Kevin Rick P6. Kenny Wallace 7th. Jimmy Johnson 8th. Clint Barton 9th. And Gray Biffle up in 10th. And then Paul Menard is down in 14th on the Bush side of things. Truck side, Tommy Bell now leads Timothy Peters by 241 points in P2. You got Hornaday, Mitchell, Good, Reagan, Darnell, Crocker, Vance, and Fletcher. Chase Diggs has fallen inside the top 10 in points, unfortunately, in 11th. Uh, and then Bobby Hamilton Sr. is now fi is 15th, and Scott Legacy Jr. is down to 20th. And then the Modifieds. Simon Stevens leads by 47 over Rodney Clay. Then you got Irwin, Clemens, Beasley 5th, Stanton up to 6th, Blount 7th, Floyd in P8, Humphrey is 9th, and Ned Shannon 10th. And then you go find Jack Knight at 17th, ahead of teammate Alan Walker in 18th. Jack Knight is ahead of five drivers. He's he's doing pretty good. He's got he got another top 10 in the last race. I have a show it uh, modified, and then we'll head on over to Jack Knight. He got P9 in the modified race. That was his third top 10. And then over on the truck side of things for our boy uh, Chase Diggs, he had officially 23rd in the previous truck race at uh, Meadow Creek, so that's why he, he got fin he finished 23rd and explains why he's down to 11 to points now. Hopefully, his season will turn around in the best way possible. I'm hoping it does. Um, but yeah, so now we're just going to go on ahead. Uh, we're done with the month of May, so now we're in the month of June. So we have our first race being the Bush Race at Dover. The trucks are actually at Dover as well. So yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Starting off with the Bush Race. At the Dover 200, so let's go ahead and see what happened at the truck race. Immelman. Never heard of that name, but he won the truck race at Dover. Yippee. Yay for him. I have no idea who he is. Alright, so I pretty much completely missed uh, who was starting where in the top 10, but uh, hopefully they all start really, really well. Uh, because. I, I was actually sending a text message, so that's one of the main reasons why. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Truex P2, R.R. Jr. 3rd, uh, Tony Stewart P4. Where is Menard? Is he at least in the top 20? Because he ain't in the top 15. He's 16th. Okay, not bad. But, uh, yeah, so let's go on ahead and jump on in. It's another one of those tracks where you just do not want to hit the apron. Or else you'll start spinning like a top. We don't need that. Not in the slightest. Alright, well, I mean, I was down there, Clayton, but alright. Okay. I found that apron, and I, I, I'm about to poop myself. Okay, okay, okay. Lions, you can get off of me. <laughs> Just trying to take her easy here. Because I do know that apron can step, can just jump out and get you at any moment. Gotta be real careful around the bottom. Like, real careful. Fortunately for Menard, I'm not going to be able to help him as much. 
Now, if given the opportunity to help him as much as possible, I will, but now's not the time, man. Someone's DNFing on the bottom right there. Is that Tony? No, it's Denny. Tony and Denny have, like, the same paint scheme, so that's why it was, like, super difficult for me to figure out who it was. We're up at the top 20, though, by taking our, by biding our time. Johnson's leading a Bush Series race? What? Okay, well, I just slammed right into the side of Kyle. Sorry about that. Did not mean to do that. Car genuinely just stepped out from underneath of me. I had no control over it. Oh, that's a crash. Eh. Just Kurt spinning. Good old Kurt being Kurt. From that angle, it makes it look like Kenny Wallace just took him out. <laughs> like, it just makes it, it just genuinely makes it look like he did. Yeah. It, like, it, look, it just looks like Kenny just flat out dumped him. For no reason whatsoever. You know, no reason behind it. But Kurt's okay. He didn't, he didn't slam the wall or anything like that. He good. He good. He's all right. He is all right. So, uh, yeah, now we're going to have a four-lap dash to the finish. I think Tony's restarting the lead. No, it's Johnson, actually. Tony's restarting behind him. That's right. Ooh, what a jump. Damn. Okay. Okay. Got, like, a badass jump, and then it just stalled. Aaron Crocker's near an ally ship. Uh, Get out of here. <laughs> just fucking intimidate her and just get her out of the fucking way, dude. I can at least hang it on the bottom, but it, my fear is clipping the apron. That's my... Okay, Lamar. Barney Lamar, please stay up there, for the love of God. I see Junior and Truex up there. Got on the side of Kenny. Didn't mean to, obviously. Biting my time is what's probably going to make me lose this race. I just got to start doing that at these at tracks like these where the apron just jumps out and gets at you. Well, Junior just flat out took the lead from Jimmy. Jimmy stood no chance. Uh, Junior might be able to hold it. Yes, he does. He actually just cut off Tony right there. Oh, Tony. Oh, boy. Okay. Now I'm going to keep him behind Dale. I'm going to pit him up there for you, Dale. Go, Dale, go. Junebug for the win. <laughs> I can't remember the last time Junior won this season, but it was probably before I started just ripping out wins. I'm not 100% sure, but Junior wins it. Nice. Junior gets the dub. Car's actually pretty clean. Not bad. Trix P5. I don't even know where Menard finished. But uh, probably ain't good. Probably wasn't good at all. So, yeah. Somehow, the race winning seems like it's worse. Seems like it gets worse every season. Uh, but Junior wins it. He only led two laps, and I'm guessing Johnson led the most. Yeah, Johnson led five. Wait, who led the other? Was it? There was someone that led one lap. Oh, it was Denny Hamlin. No, it was Todd Cleaver? How did he lead a lap? He was never at the front. What? Okay. I don't really got nothing to say about that, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got prestige, prestige points. I don't know how much more we need of that, but yeah. And we celebrate with not Dale Jr. Because that ain't Dale Jr., alright. <clears throat> so now he's going to do the same thing again, but on the cup side. So now it's time for the cup race. Neighborhood Excellence 400. What year was it that they changed it from... Like, Neighborhood of Excellence 400 to, I think, like, the DirecTV 400 or something like that? Didn't they change it to that at one point, and then they, like, changed it to something else? I think it was changed to Drive for Autism, I think? Right? I think that's how it went. There may have been something in between, like, the DirecTV 400 or and, like, the Drive for Autism 400 or something like that at Dover. But I know they changed it. That's about all I know. Biffle on pole again. Biffle's just won every fucking pole. Pain is in fits. That's pretty good. And Labani in ninth. I like that. <clears throat> Both cars start in the top ten. One of them in the top five, especially. Pretty freaking cool if you ask me. 
Damn, we got Elliot Claybrooks in the 55 ahead of us. I haven't seen that name in God knows how long. Hello, Claybrooks. It's like ever since Elliot Claybrooks left to join MWR in the 55, the team that I used to drive for just doesn't exist. Actually, it's right there, the 107. No, that's not it. Mine was the 175, not the 107. I keep mixing those two cars up. The 107 and the 175. But, um... Oh, God. Okay. Oof. We're good. We're good. Had a bit of a scare right there. More times than one. See, I'm not trying to get to the side of them. It's just... It just happens. You know? Like, it just happens. Oh, my God. I just went right into the side of Zim. I saw that apron and about de holy god Menard. He just got left he just got left reared hard. Got left reared all the way down to the fucking apron. Jesus. If he didn't like him, he'd have just told him nicely. <laughs> Damn. Well, Payne and Labonia are doing really, really good for themselves up at the front. And that shocks me, genuinely. Like that genuinely shocks me. I think Payne's running P2 right now. I'm about to hit the wall. Oh, I'm fine. Just smacked the wall, but I'm okay. Uh, hi, Dover Monster. <laughs> How ironic. I got into the Dover Monster at Dover. Oh, there's Kip. Okay, so the 174 is at least here, but I don't know about the 175 or the other car, which I think was the 110 or something like that. Whatever car Elliot Claybrooks drove. I have to figure that shit out again. Labani is hanging up on the outside somehow in the top 10 still. And Elliot, and not Elliot, and Bruce was actually running second for a good long while. Mayfield just smacked the shit out of the wall behind me. Yeah, my teammates are kind of stuck up on the outside now. Ay, ay, ay. 10 laps to go. So pretty much I just can't let Bruce get past my Jeff. Okay. That's not really how I wanted to do that, but I guess that works. Damn, Junior just took the lead. Good old Junebug. Might give him the win. Might just push him to the win, in all honesty. Let's do it that way. Make a three wide, make the pass. Bruce is still P7. I hit the apron, and I got scared, so I washed up the track. That apron is going to be the death of me. Literally and figuratively. It is the death of me. It is my kryptonite. My kryptonite is the aprons of Texas, Charlotte, and Dover. No other track has a worse apron than those three tracks. I think Charlotte's and Dover's are worse than Texas's. Texas apron. I can't even speak. <laughs> well, at the very least, get up to third. We'll get to the inside of Kurt. And then I'll switch to Bruce. Try to get him a little bit higher. Have him gain a couple more spots. Try to. And uh, just kind of see where he kind of cycles out. Try to, maybe get it, try to maybe get him in the top five. Oh my god, the car literally just stopped turning right there. Holy hell. <clears throat> Alright, I'll swap to Labani and try to see if I can get him in front of Jeff and Jeff and Matt. Matt, Matt, Jeff, Jeff. Or Matt, Jeff, Jeff. There's one Gordon... Well, there's one car down, which is Jeff Gorham. We're going to get to the inside of Jeff Green, who's doing really, really well this race. Into the side of Matt Kansas. Somehow don't spin on the apron. I don't even know how that's even possible. Why don't you get him up into P8. Shoot to the bottom. Get to the inside of Vickers. Make the pass. There we go. Swap to myself, because Biffle and Kurt are ahead of me. I don't mind Junior winning. I just want to beat Kurt and... Biffle as myself. Like, I need, I need to continue to gain more points. And Labani, but Labani doesn't really count. He's a teammate of mine. There we go. Right up into second. 
And now we just share draft with Junior. And give him the win because why the hell not? We're going to enter the final lap already for Junebug. And the entire eight organization. Oh boy. Ugh. See, funny enough, by the time of 2011 rolled around, DEI was already merged but with Chip Ganassi. Just as a little fun factoid for all y'all. We'll come through three and four. Junior will grab the win. Good job to Junior. We got another P2. I'll take it. Not bad at all. Bruce got fifth. And Labonte got seventh. I think that's a good day at the office right there. It is a good, good day at the office. I think Junior led the most laps that, as well. Yeah, he led 10 of the 16 and went on to win. Nice. So Payne's going to lose points to both Biffle and Kerr Bush, but not much. Yeah, he'll only lose 5 to Kurt and I think like 15 to Biffle. So not bad. Labani will still sit. Is it finished P7? He'll stay probably P2. And Gordon got 11th, so... I think it was real difficult on Jeff. Like, real difficult on Jeff. We try to beat our teammates. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm parked in Kevin Harvick's garage area, but I am. But I'm also talking to Bobby Labonte, so maybe that's another reason. Bobby Labonte just wanted to see what I'm doing over here in Harvick's garage, and I'm just telling him, yeah, I don't got my own because it's under renovation. <laughs> Wouldn't be shocked if that was even the case. Like, at all. <laughs> Alright. So now we got to deal with Dodge and Pocono. Oh boy. <laughs> Dodge is going to be interesting. I think we've already went to Dodge. So this will be our second time going there. All right, we went to Dodge before. I think it was a few episodes ago. Yeah, race 18. Damn. Only, only one month apart from... Last going there. Like, shit. Alright, well, let's go on ahead and go there. There's a modified and a truck race. Bolt, uh, one at the modified race at Dodge and the truck race at Texas. So we'll see how all that shapes up for our drivers. Turner wins the modified race. And Scott Legacy Jr. wins at Texas. Let's go, Scott Legacy. Holy shit. So on the push side of things, we have six wins, 13 top fives, and 13 top tens. Uh, Truex has one win, seven top fives, and ten top tens. Junior has three wins, six top fives, twelve top tens. Menard has one win, one top five, and five top tens. That is very interesting. Johnson on pole, Stewart second, Junior third. Menard in six. What about Truex? P7. All right. Not bad at all for... Oh, new. No. I don't want to forfeit. New, no, new, no, new. No. Pal, forfeit of the race. But we're not forfeiting. We're going. We're going for 12 laps around Dodge Raceway, which pretty much acts like the LA Coliseum of today. Just got to make some moves patiently, but still make them nonetheless. Get into the side of John Andretti. Rest in pieces. Or hopefully he's resting easily, uh, John Andretti. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, piss off, Norton. Oh, Seth got touched. He got hit. <laughs> he got hit in the rear, so he got loose a little bit. Damn, Junior's leading. He's on it the past couple races. Shit, he about to go three in a row. Oh, my mirrors. That's all on you, buddy. I did not do a damn thing. You turned down into me. Oh, I looked at my microphone to see if I was muted. I, had, I don't know why, but I thought for some reason I was muted, even though I'm not. Yeah, so that's a that's a displeasure tap right there for you just driving down in front of me without even being clear. We could try for the one, two, three, four with myself, Truex Jr. and Menard, as if Menard wants to you know dig his head out of his ass and actually do that, but I doubt he does. Truex is near. Probably switch to him and get him up there. Get him up into P2, you know. Actually, I might not be able to. There's only five more laps, and it takes 13 seconds to get around here, and 
driving Menard's car, it's gonna take four fucking ever to get him up here. Like, not to dog on him or anything, but that's just the truth. It's gonna take forever. Might get a 1, 2, 3 instead. And I can see how far I can get him. He's already P11, just by his lonesome. So, kudos to him. <laughs> Menard on a bad reputation? What? No, that's not Menard. That's not him at all. Yeah, hey, we're coming down to it. Okay, at the very least, I'm going to have, you know, Menard finish ahead of Aaron Crocker. At the very least, I can do that. All right, then go to the inside of Tony. And then swap to me, so Menard actually gets the spot on Tony. Actually, we can still do the 1, 2, 3, 4, now that I think about it. Oh, come on. I didn't want to let Biffle through. I didn't want that to happen. No. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I tried. I tried to let it. I tried to make it happen, and it didn't. But we got a 1, 2, 4, and 5. And 1, 2, 4, and 6. At least we all beat Aaron fucking Crocker. Okay? At least we did that. Oh, man. Junior went th has now gone three in a row. He's on it. <laughs> He's on it right now. Damn. Let every lap two. Junior. Junior's got some. He got some. And that's another W for Junior. That's back to back in Bush. Not in Cup, in Bush. That is insane. In freaking insane. All right, now we head on into the last race of today's episode, which is Pocono. And then the next episode will be Michigan for the Cup. And I don't know what it'll be for Bush. It'll be Meadow Creek. Okay, so it'll be Meadow Creek, Michigan, and then Milwaukee and Infineon. All right, let's go to Pocono first. We got we to gotta do that. We got to go to Pocono. Got to go to Pocono. Got a win there. So we got six wins, 12 top fives, and 13 top tens. Labani has one win, seven top fives, and 11 top tens. Bruce Payne has three wins, six top fives, and 10 top tens. Yeah, Bruce has more wins, but Labani's been more consistent. So have we. So Gordon's on pole. Um, Arnard Jr., fourth. I'm not, I wouldn't be shocked to be one today either. Labani, eighth. And Bruce Payne, 11th. Okay. I mean, rel rel relatively respectful starting positions. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. And here we go. We're racing at Pocono, which is Zachary Smithley's home race, which is our character. I don't know why, but I had an idea um, for, to, like, expand the Smithley family. So I wanted to do something with, like, uh, one of Zach's kids, right? Because... He has, he has, he has like, I think, I think what, what did I put down? Like, four or five kids or whatever. One of them is near the age of 18. And I had an idea where I would have him in Madden. Because he likes football more than racing. And he's kind of, like, you know, different from Zach and, you know, Zach's father, Chris. Which would be Devin's grandpa. Um, I was curious if you guys would be... All right, if I maybe did some Madden stuff and did like a Devin, Dev, did like a Devin Smithley story, you know, and all that sort of stuff, I'd have to like you know prepare it and all. But I think it'd be a, a pretty fun series to do, especially for like you know the family and all that sort of stuff, and like the and like you know where and like the background behind it and all that sort of stuff. I think it'd be pretty cool if I could mix in like Zach's own kids. Or Zach's own kid, you know, into like this whole thing that I have going on with my channel and like the Smithleys and all that sort of stuff. You got Christopher Smithley over in F1, then you got Zachary Smithley here in NASCAR and all that sort of stuff. I was kind of wanted to, you know, dig my feet into maybe something else. I'm not good at any football game, but I mean, I don't mean I can't learn. I mean, I, it took me a while to get somewhat okay at F1. And I don't think I'm the greatest at it, but I think I'm good at it. You know, I think I'm I'm, I'm not not good, but I'm, I, I'm okay. I'm okay at F1. That's about. You know, I'm not the greatest, not esports level, but 
You know, I'm, I'm like I'm at like a respectable level. But yeah, I want I felt like doing that. So let me know what, if you uh, if you guys actually want to see that. If you guys want to see me like expand the Smithley family into other sports. And I was thinking Madden, NFL, and I was thinking like I could do that in Madden. And I, I it sounded like a really 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 good idea too. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do it. So maybe I will do it. I'm not too sure. Um, but during that time, we got Bruce up inside the top 10. And um, half the pack has now been split off from us. And now we're going for the lead on Kerbush. <laughs> and right to the inside. I don't think we've won at Pocono at, with Zach. So winning here would actually be really, really good. Um, especially for us. We really hit me. We'd be a hometown favorite right there. But yeah, so we're now on the lead. We gotta might have to try to get Labani and Bruce up into better positions, but hey, you win some, you lose some. But I'll see how far out I can get ahead of the Penske duo of Kerr Bush and Ryan Newman, and and I'll see about you know getting my teammates up higher in positions. So yeah, I'm just going to chill for a little bit, and I'll see you guys probably on the last lap, if I had to imagine. Alright, final lap here in Pocono. Uh, we've actually stretched out our lead to 6 tenths over Ryan Newman now, who's in P2. I got Labonte and Bruce Payne up to 4th and 5th, but I think they're both getting passed by Johnson. And I know Payne got passed by Labonte for 5th, or for 4th. And now Labonte's fighting Johnson for fours, and Payne's back down to six. But, uh, yeah, not really much else to say, except we're, we're pretty good at this track. Like, really safe to say we're really good at it. We'll head through turn three. And this is going to be one hell of a popular win, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the photo quarter, Zachary Smithley. We'll do it again, I think. Yes! Home win! Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look at that. Bobby Labonte and Bruce Payne, 5th and 6th. Nice. Junior P P10. Didn't go back to back. <clears throat> Couldn't go back to back in Cup, but you know what? It's respectable. It's respectable. So, yeah. That did it. And that's another win in the books, baby. And that's our home race. Hell yeah. Kurt led two laps, but we dominated. Let's go. We dominated the race, and we get away with it. Bible of Bonnie and Bruce Payne. Good finishes all around. And yeah, I'm happy about it. I was 1-1, one 2-3. One, but I knew it wouldn't happen, especially with the two Penskys of, uh, you know, Newman and Kurt. I definitely knew it wasn't going to happen, especially if Jimmy was back there fighting my teammates, so... That, that for sure was going to happen with all three of those guys. But, hey, we did it. We won it. And I got not Kyle Petty with me. <laughs> and there we go. I don't even know what the hell that is. That may have been the trophy. I have no freaking idea. But that is another dub in the books. And if I'm not mistaken, another win at our home race. Bada bing, bada boom. So yeah, now the next races are going to be Michigan for Cup. The following week is Milwaukee and Infidion, uh for Bush and Cup. Oh, I think I just knocked this forward a little bit. I didn't mean to. Oh. Meadow Creek for Bush for the uh, Michigan week. So it'll be Meadow Creek in Michigan. And then the next week and then the next bit of racing will be Milwaukee and Infineon. Trucks will be going to Michigan and Milwaukee, so there you have it. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the standings coming out of those races. Uh, I don't know if Bruce has made any progress on on Biffle. He's probably lost some, but he's probably gained on Gordon. Oh, okay, never mind. So over on the Cup side of things, we lead Great Biffle by 296 points in P2. Bobby Labonte is P3, but he's only three points back from him. Bruce Payne is in fourth. He's almost 100 points back from Greg Biffle. He's right now 70 points back from him. And then you got Kurt Busch in 5th. 
Jeff Gordon 6th, Dale Nard Jr. 7th, Ryan Newman 8th, Jimmy Johnson 9th, and Kevin Harvick now in 10th. Kansas still has a shot at Sadler, Bush, Truex, and Vickers still have a shot as well. Um, but yeah, so Labonte's actually fallen from second, but he gained some points on Biffle coming out of Pocono, so that's, that'll help him out quite a bit. Same with Bruce. Over on the Bush side, Junior uh, is now 308 points back from us in P2, with Tony Stewart in third, 385 back, then Truex in fourth, Johnson up to fifth with Harvick in sixth, Biffle seventh, Kenny Wallace eighth, Kurt Busch ninth, and Aaron Crocker somehow in tenth. Paul Menard jumps back up to twelfth, so there you have it. That's pretty cool for him. Hopefully he gets to keep. Hopefully he keeps that going. Truck side of things, Tommy Bell still leads, but by only 159 over Timothy Peters in P2. Somehow Aaron Crocker's in third. Ron Hornaday is P4. Eric Darnell fifth. Casey Fletcher sixth. Jake Mitchell, 7. Scott Legacy, Jr., up to P8. Hans Good, ninth. David Reagan in P10. Chase Diggs down to 12th. That ain't good. Um, and Bobby Hamilton, Sr., now down to 19th. So, yeah. At least Scott Legacy won a race. And then over the Modified, Stevens is now 15 points ahead of Rodney Clay with Nate Beasley, 3rd. Clemens, Shannon, Stu Floyd, 6. Dyer, Shannon, and P.A. White, Gonzalez, Jack Knight and Alan Walker are now 10th and 13th. Holy shit. <laughs> and it's because of uh, the Dodge Raceway race that they did, and it added in all these new people. So that's why they've also jumped up, because some drivers just they just didn't bother showing up. So this is Jack Knight's highest position thus far in the Modifieds. I'm curious as to where he finished, too, in the Modified race. So we'll see where he finished. Dude, he has had back-to-back-to-back top 10 finishes. Are these at four top 10 finishes in a row, dude? He's on a fucking roll right now. GG's Jack Knight. I'm going to cry if he wins a race one of these days. Uh, Like, tears of joy. Not tears of sadness, but joy. And nice. Chase Diggs finished fifth in Texas. That's actually really, really good. I like seeing that. I like seeing that top five finish for him. I like seeing it from my boy. Good job. Good job. There were six races where he didn't, but guess what? He came back, and he got a top five in Texas. I'll take it. Texas is like a strong track for him. I don't know why. <laughs> Just really, really strong for him. Um, But yeah, so <clears throat> that'll, uh, that'll pretty much do it. So I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below for more. Next races are going to be Meadow Creek, Michigan, and then we'll have Milwaukee and Infineon as well after that. So those races, they, those should be fun. Those should be fun. But I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Chris. I'm out. I'll sit or have a good day. Peace out. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care of one. I love you guys so very much. And goodbye.